Welcome everyone. I wanted to discuss a few things uh, before we continue forward. I noticed when I was grading some of, some of your labs that there were some issues. So I want to go over some of those things and um, discuss them so that you can submit everything and get full credit for each of your labs. So the first thing that I want to discuss is make sure you fill out the lab report. The lab report is found right here in NETICAD. If you click on the lab report, it will take you directly to the lab report. It will be displayed here. You can click on this to download it. It's just a Word document. Um, let me go through these questions so you know how to um, answer some of these questions and what I'm actually expecting. So the first thing is question number one. What is the purpose or goal of this lab or what is the lab training you to do? So this week we're talking about um, STP. So that is something that you would put there. We are here to learn about how uh, STP can help a network build in redundancy when a line goes down or something like that. You know, something similar to that. Two or three sentences that make me understand that you know what STP is and what you and what its purpose is and what you're going to be doing for this lab. You can look at the beginning of the labs and they actually have part of a description. I want you to put your own words here as to what that lab is. Okay. Now part two is the, the part that I have seen as I've been grading assignments that's been uh, a little different than what I've expected. So what I am looking for, number two, is describe what you configured or set up. Explain the steps and the commands. Um, that you use to successfully complete this lab. A lot of you, about half of you, have missed the commands. I want to know, if we're talking about STP, what are the commands to set up STP? What is the order you need to um, use those commands? And what is the actual command? And then if you can just tell me what that command does. So um, this should be several lines depending on what it is. You don't have to tell me um, and, and repeat it because you have to do the same thing on, on all three switches. Just tell me, hey, this is how you set up STP. This is the command to do it. This is what the command does. Then you have to do this command. This is what that command does. This is the next command, and that's what this command does. That is what I'm looking for for number two. Okay, That, that again, is something you can reference and come back to. So when you have to set up STP for the final, you know how to do it and it's right there for you. You know the steps, you can follow the steps and boom, you have it set up. And then you can put a little comment. Well, and this has to be set up on all routers or switches or whatever. It's Since it's STP, it's switches, okay? Hopefully that explains number two. Number three here is provide some screenshots of successful completion of this lab, right? So this could be a ping, it could be um, show trunk details, whatever. It could be a, usually a show command of some kind or a ping is what I'm looking for. There may be one or two or three or four uh, screenshots that are applicable. As long as it shows me that you have completed all the parts of the assignment of the lab, okay? And then finally, this is, uh, you pretty much can't put a wrong answer on number four um, unless you leave it blank. If you leave it blank, you're going to get points deducted. So please uh, just rate it one to five. Describe what you liked or disliked. Hey, I thought STP was pretty cool, but I had some problems doing this and setting debug doesn't work on Packet Tracer, by the way. Right? So that's where you would put that. And that's it. So you would submit this form. And then you would also submit the lab. Now, one other thing you would also submit is um, the config files. So for every lab, not the packet tracer ones, I know we're doing them in packet tracer now, but for your labs, this lab here, so let's see, we just did lab, lab 3323, this one here. Uh, the packet tracers, all you need to submit is the screenshot of 
your completed packet tracer and your PKA file, your completed packet tracer file, right? That's all you need to complete. But when it's a lab, a hands-on lab, something that we were technically supposed to do in the classroom, I want your configuration files for each of the devices that you're configuring. So for instance, I have a packet tracer here open because some of you may not know how to do this. So all you need to do is I'm, I clicked on this switch right here. This is switch number three. I have switch three open right here. And let's see if I can zoom in. All you do is um, I'm going to do show run, right? And do a config file. So I'm going to do enable and then I'm going to do show run. And this is going to show me right running config. All right. You exit down until it says end and then you highlight this right in the command line in the terminal. Highlight the whole thing. Then you right click, you copy it. Then you open up a text editor here and then you paste it. And since this was switch number one, or sorry, it was switch three, you save it as s3-config. You can put .txt if you want. And then you save it. And then you submit this, the switch three config txt, as part of your lab submission, right? So this is what I want to see. This is what I'm going to evaluate because now I can go through the config file and I can see, oh, look at switch port trunk native VLAN 99. Perfect. They set up trunking right. I can see that that was done on Ethernet uh, 01, right? I can see, oops, they didn't set up their passwords. So, you know, um, you set up vlan 99 with this ip address perfect everything looks great um, that is what i want to see this this shows me that you actually created the lab that you're able to do this and do that so when you i'll, I'll review this again when you are submitting your assignments what i want for the lab is the lab report the lab report is this word document up here I want your actual lab. It could just be blank, whatever else. And then I want your config files. So I want those three things for each of these labs that you submit, the hands-on labs that right now we're doing in Packet Tracer, right? Um, for Packet Tracer assignments that are specifically designated as Packet Tracer, all I want is a screenshot and the PKA files. So I hope this clarifies a few things. Um, I've kind of graded um really leniently these first few labs but going forward now that i've notified you i've demonstrated exactly what i'm looking for i'm going to be a little bit more stricter on that grading of those labs so i hope you have found this video useful and uh, let me know if you have any questions and i'll talk to you later thanks a lot guys